Hi everyone, welcome to Pearl's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a vegetable and smoked bacon pasta. Now for my friends who don't eat pork, you can make this uh, pasta dish without the pork. It will still come very tasty. Okay, so the ingredients what we need for is, now here I've got, I've got 500 grams of twirly pasta, 400 grams of grated cheese, cheddar cheese, I've got a mixed pepper, one green, one yellow and one red pepper. I've got three carrots chopped, eight to ten rashes of bacon. Like I said, you don't have to put it if you don't eat bacon or pork. Uh, three cloves of garlic chopped, finely chopped. I've got 200 grams of mushroom and we will need mayonnaise, tomato ketchup, sweet chili sauce, salt and pepper and some mixed herbs. So that's the ingredients. Now we go and you can see I've already got a pot of water boiling and it has two tablespoons of salt in it. That's for the pasta. And here in the wok or karai, I've got two tablespoons of butter. So you heat the butter but don't let it get very hot otherwise the garlic will start to burn you don't want to burn the garlic so as soon as the butter is heated now this this pasta dish is actually very tasty to eat as a meal but it's also very uh, uh, good as a side dish for if you're having a barbecue it goes very well with all the meats at the barbecue. So there you go, the butter is getting hot. You add the garlic in it. And then we just fry the garlic this for, for a minute or so because you don't want it to get brown. for a minute and then you add the carrots now the carrots need to cook because that's going to be a bit hard so let the carrot cook for three to four minutes just keep frying it for three to four minutes okay so the, while the carrots are being fried I've got a frying pan there with one tablespoon of olive oil and in there you can Put the bacon. Bacon is nice, chopped finely, yeah, rather than in chunks. And now you cook, fry the bacon for another five minutes or so. Okay, so while the bacon still getting brown, you put all the vegetables with the carrots. Mix all the peppers and then we then put all the mushrooms and keep stirring it. A teaspoonful of salt and then we put a teaspoonful of herbs, mixed herbs. some pepper and add some more pepper and then keep stirring this keep 
stirring the vegetable for three to four minutes. So there you go, that's how the vegetable should, should start to look like and the bacon's also had a little fry. And now mix all the bacon in here and all the juices. another couple of minutes. So now you, need, you see here the water is already boiling and now I'm going to add the pasta to the water. And you need to cook the pasta just for eight minutes because it will have to finish off in the oven. And my friends in India who don't have an oven then just let the pasta cook for 10 to 12 minutes because you can eat it, uh, cook, finish it off in the dish itself. So as you see after putting the uh, bacon into the vegetable, it's had its two minutes and I turned that off, the gas off, and the pasta is also ready, it's had its eight minutes. So I'm going to turn that off as well and now I'm just going to drain the pasta. So as you see, the pasta is drained, so just empty it out in a pot, in a different pot if you want. Just drizzle a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick. Give it a little stir and now we start to mix everything. So here I've got sweet chili dip. So like I said I don't measure anything. So this is approximately two tablespoons, two to two and a half tablespoons of sweet chili dip. And you take tomato ketchup. Also two to two and a half tablespoon of tomato ketchup. Now mayonnaise, you need at least five tablespoons. Now mix all this together. That's how it should look like. half the cheese. Add that in and give that a mix. Trust me, if you eat this, you love it. Now also, just to let you know, for my friends in India who always like everything spicy, you could make this with chili, specks, uh, chili flakes or chopped green chilies. vegetable mix and the bacon and then add it okay. and now give that a mix you can see all the color all different color and you can smell the smoky bacon. You could add a little bit of salt because we drained off the water so the salt's maybe half a teaspoon. If you think it needs more chili dip I like it. Okay, that's it. And now you take a baking dish, baking tray. Now and 
my nephews and India, they just love this dish. And my children. Okay, so now at this point, this is ready. What you can do is, if you're having a barbecue the next day, you prepare this the day before, put a cling film, put it in the fridge. And when your guests come, it's 10 minutes before your guests start to eat, or because it's in the fridge, 15 minutes, and put it in the oven and then serve. But for now, this is going straight into the oven, 200 degrees. Because it hasn't come out from the fridge, it just needs the cheese to melt. 10 minutes, 12 minutes, just keep an eye on it. And that's it, we'll show you what it looks like. There you go. My pasta's had its 10 minutes in the oven. And that's what it should look like. Very slight golden color. Okay, so now this, this will be demolished within minutes by my family. So, hope you enjoy it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and write down the comments below. What do you think of the pasta? And uh, stay safe and see you next Wednesday for some more delicious recipes.